What's up guys, this is your boy Rusi and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video. Alright, so right now what's going on, this is my free to play account. I've been going on for about two weeks right now with this account. And that's where we are, 14 days in. Now I did take a kind of like break, not exactly break playing the game, but like hold holding off some of the stuff I usually would do, like for example, Instead of me using some of my gems to actually get masteries and my some of my main champions, I decided to buy ancient shards. And mostly because Amic Fusion is coming up. And we don't know much about it, how that's gonna work out. Um basically it seems that you're gonna need shards to be able to get uh whatever champions you need for the fusion. That can be a kind of an issue, uh, in the most because he's a he's a void champion, what pretty much puts you in a situation where if you need void champions to actually do a fusion with him, you would need void charts. Um I've been saving ancient charts, it doesn't matter. For me it's gonna help out uh one way or another. I need other champions to be able to Go against clan boss and uh, uh, Doom Tower, everything else. So it's gonna be fine. I am saving right now um, until I know what is more about. Even if I have 900 right now, I probably wouldn't be buying charts. Um, just an option of mine. Usually, if this thing wasn't going on right now, I probably would have used masteries and probably unlocking the mine. Uh, but that's what it is. I'm gonna hold on to that. I probably have enough uh, in the next day or so to be able to unlock the mine. What gonna help my account the long run. So besides that, uh, tournaments. So tournaments, I really don't have a great team for Spider. So I kind of like stood back. The requirements are too high. I would just be using a lot of resources and I really don't feel the price are worth it. That's one thing you have to do a lot of times in this game. And uh, they'll throw just so uh so many of those tournaments and events. And it's based so you use everything you have. So you can't do the fusion. That's how I feel. I'm sorry Plarium, but that's the truth. Now I lucked out and that's one thing you see a lot right before fusions. Uh you get a clan versus clan. What will give you a lot of rewards and pretty much like in my opinion just hold on the most when the following day you're gonna be having a fusion coming up just so you know the requirements don't use everything on tournaments I feel a lot of times Plarion does this thing like for example right here so we have something great Jordan uh, the Nutcracker so this is a character I have in my main account and he's great because he can break through unkillable, he can break through anything pretty much. The problem is, so you get 10 times chance from void, right? But you may need void charts for tomorrow. So they pretty much make where you have to use every void you have, try to get this character. What is a, a 10 time chance, what is great, but it's still 10 times against a hundred epics, um, ancients, oh, oh, jeez, what am I talking about? Uh, legendaries, so, kind of like, TDK also popped up, and I was like holding on to this, like, oh my god, please, I don't even want to see those, um, but yeah, that's what pretty much they're doing, you know, it is what it is. So clan vs clan, got some energy saved, got some uh, gems, you know, but that's pretty much what you have to do. Right now, at the moment, I have two 50s, a bunch of 40s, um, some getting each 40. Now, those are not actually food, and actually most of my 30s are not food, so I have a couple I really don't care about then. Um, I feel... Because my other account, like, I know that I will get them again, you know, every 
hand charts, you're probably gonna get one. So it's something I can wait on, not a big deal. So some of them gonna become food. Um, trying to get my gear going. Like, for example, one of the things, if you guys get Divine Life um, in a most with lifesteal gear, it's great for one of your main characters, the most if that's Kael or, uh, you know, one of your first champions. That's great setup. That pretty much allows you to be able to run the whole game uh, at least up to like brutal. Also great if you had had a chance to get Artac. Now there is a chance because there are some updates coming to the game that we will get another free champion, uh, but that's still up in limbo right now. But yeah, so tomorrow we're gonna really get to know what's gonna be happening with that new champion. They nerfed it already. Um, if it was such a big hype of uh, a lot of YouTubers about how overpowerful he was, that instead of just slightly dropping his power level, they completely dropped uh, in almost his A1 to like, I think it was his A1 to like 10k max shield. What pretty much put him from being like a great champion for your account to it's okay. If you don't have anybody that can do what he does, eh, good. So, I don't know. We're gonna have to see it tomorrow. But anyway, guys, I gotta go right now. I have a lot of stuff to do for film school. Very nice if you guys got to this point the video. And um, I'll see you in the game.